Hey there, fellow travelers. Mark here with Walter's World. Today we're here in Budapest in Hungary. And I've been walking around town today, seeing some very interesting things. And I've seen some scams going on and stuff like that. So I thought today would be a good day to put out a video on some of the typical scams that you actually see here in Budapest. I've been coming to Budapest since 1997. So I have seen a lot of things change over the years, but scams are some of the things that have kind of stayed here. Now it has gotten a lot better. I won't lie to you about that. Yeah. From the taxi ripoffs, they still do happen. They're a lot less now to the, to the oh, hey, take me for a drink kind of stuff. There are still some issues here, but it has gotten better. So I want to stress that part there. But I guess I should give you those, those scans we're talking about. Probably the one that you'll read about the most and one that's actually happened to me a couple times when I've been here is the, um, how would I say this? The no, deed go, no good deed goes unpunished scam. So basically what it is, maybe a girl or, or, or a grandma and her daughter or whatever, will come up to you and ask you for help. Like, hey, do you know how I get to this place? Or I've lost my friends and how can I, how can you help me find them and stuff like that? And they'll be so happy that you're helping them. Like, hey, well, while we're waiting for my friends to show up, why don't we grab a drink? And they'll take you to a bar and you'll sit down, she'll order a drink, you'll order a drink. And then next thing you know, she's gone and you've got like a 30 euro bill. Uh, like for, for a drink, like what the hell's going on? And they're like, hey, you've got to pay for this. Look, that has gone down a lot in the last few years here, but it does still happen. So do be careful if you notice any tourists that are, or any locals that are overly friendly. Now I'm not gonna lie to you. The locals here, they speak English really well. They'll like chat with you a bit, but you do need to be careful about the overly friendly tourists that are not kind of using you to like, you know, part of their scam to make a little extra money for a bar or a club or something like that. But honestly, I don't, I don't, it doesn't have as much as it used to, but if you are a solo guy, or maybe two guys, do have a heads up for that. Because I know when I've been here with Jocelyn, I've been here with the kids and stuff like that, nothing ever happens. But I've been by myself, I do get those things occasionally, okay? Now, another set of scams you might see when you're here, I like to call that the menu mix-ups. So the menu mix-ups, this is one I've actually seen people write about, where they'll order food, and then they think they're gonna pay one price, and then the bill comes and it's a lot more. They're like, what happened? Like, let me see the menu. And they get the menu back and like, oh, okay, the prices were that high. Well, you gotta realize that sometimes in the nefarious places, they might switch the menus. Again, this is one of those things that's not as popular as it used to be, but it does still happen occasionally. So make sure before you order, you look at the price. You know what you're gonna get. Don't just order a beer. Look on the menu and say, I want this beer. Don't just get a palinka, the, the local schnapps kind of thing. Don't just say, oh, give me a palinka. Make, make sure you get a palinka and I want the, the pear one or I want the cherry one or something like that. Because if you don't, they might just order the more expensive thing for you. So do have a heads up for that. And also, if you're coming from the US, where they use the US dollar, or you're coming from the Europe where they use the Euro, it's about 300 to one for the exchange rate, okay? So look at the money. It all seems like, oh, who knows what the price is? And some places, some of the nefarious places will actually use that to their advantage and against you. So they might shortchange you on the change. So just make sure you're looking at your bill and make sure everything's okay, all right? Now, another one that I, I had forgotten about before I got here is some of the taxi scams that are here. Now, I know a lot of people just think, oh, well, I'll just take Uber when I'm there. Well, here in Budapest, there is no Uber. Uber's been gone since about 2016. So you're gonna be taking taxis and there's different taxis out here. And what you want to make sure is if you can see one, when you see a taxi, if on the top it says Taxify or it has a brand name like a, a taxi company name and on the side it has a taxi company name, those are the better taxis to take because if it just has a yellow taxi and it has a black sign on the side that says Taxi, look on the side. If it says Freelancer, those are the ones that a lot of times will rip off tourists. So do be careful with that. I know we came in today and we came to the train station and we were like trying to find a taxi to get into town and no one's taking us. We find a guy and he's like, oh, 20 euros. I'm like, dude, it's like a five euro taxi ride. He's like, well, you ain't got any other choice. And I couldn't download the apps to get them to work on my phone. So I didn't have any other choices. So you gotta be careful with the taxis here. So what I recommend you do, if you can download an app for one of the taxi companies here, do that. Though some of them require that you have a Hungarian phone number, so that's not gonna help if you don't. But some you can get, you can get um, and use those to call your taxis. Also, maybe ask your hotel or ask your hotel or your hotel or ask the restaurant you're at to order the taxi for you. And therefore, you know it's gonna be more legit. And also it's a good idea to talk to your hotel and ask them, how much is the taxi, how much should it cost to get to the hotel? Because then if you know how much it's gonna cost, well, you have an idea if they're trying to rip you off or not, okay? So do be careful with that. 
because there is the usual taxi stuff like they take you out of the way to get there or they overcharge you for stuff or oh i'm sorry i don't have change so those things do happen so do have a heads up for that another thing it's not really a scam but something about safety stuff you should watch out for don't they recommend you probably don't stay right by the parliament there's other places in town to stay in we're staying at the inner in the inner city and that's pretty cool there's some other places to check out as well but just thought i'd let you know that was one place that people recommend not to stay um it's cool to go by but at night might not feel so cool i guess here in budapest i mean it is a european capital and it's gorgeous i mean look random gorgeous architecture all around this city is awesome I've, I've been coming here for 20 years and I still love seeing the same amazing buildings 20 years later. And the thing is though, even with a cool city like this has the usual scams as well. You'll see the people, you know, the pickpockets are here and the, oh, I spilled some mustard on your shoulder or a bird pooped on you or something like that. And then they take your bags. Those things are here. The ladies that give you, you know, like flowers, they give you something and you're like, oh, thank you. And then they're like, oh, hey, uh, now you gotta give me money. Like those things still exist. So just make sure you're watching out because you don't want to like lose your money on silly scams that you obviously know are scams in the first place. So just have a heads up for that. Word of warning, my fellow travelers, if you're at any kind of thing where there's a band playing or there's a performers or street performers or whatever, and there's a big crowd around, this is actually prime pickpocketing spots because everyone's paying attention to the band playing and they're not paying attention to their pockets. So, hey, have a heads up and pay attention when you see something like that. Do enjoy the street performers, do enjoy the band, but just know that someone else might be putting their hand where it's not supposed to be. So, hey, pay attention when you're there. There are a few other scams I do want to let you know about. You will see guys coming up to you try to sell you, oh, I found this iPhone 7, you want to buy that? I mean, I, I thought it was kind of funny when I saw stuff about people selling electronics on the street, but obviously if someone's picking up an iPhone off the street trying to sell it to you, not something you should buy. So that's one thing I saw there. Also, you don't see it too much anymore, but if you're looking for people that are exchanging money on the street, just don't. Just go to either the exchange house, like you said, go to the bank, or just use your ATM. That's going to be your best bet, okay? So if you are seeing any of these Euronet ATMs, look, you can use it as a normal ATM. The only thing that we, when they really get you is actually if you click the, please convert to my home currency, don't do that. I've seen this in Hungary. I've seen this in the Netherlands. I've seen this in other places in Prague and stuff like that here in Budapest. Be careful with that because you take that conversion, you really get a horrible exchange rate and that's where they make their money. But the thing is you don't, if you decline the conversion, you just get your bank to do it and they work fine that way. So that's where they really get the bad reputation is they just really kind of get you when it comes to the bad exchange rates that they offer you as a, oh, at least you already know what you're going to get charged in dollars. So isn't that better than not knowing? And they make it sound like, well, we can't guarantee what you get. So it sounds like they're trying to help, but they're not. Also, another thing on these, that a lot of times they'll offer like crazy high amounts to take out when you don't really need that much. So make sure you can push the other amount button and then you can get like a normal amount of money instead of a crazy amount. So just want to give you a heads up for those. I know I've had problems with these around the world, but it's not just Euronet. There's, there's other places too. Other banks do that as well. So just make sure you're paying attention and always declining that conversion. The place I went to today when I took out money, uh, they offered me with the exchange it that would give me $195. When I looked at my bank account, it was $153. Just $40 difference in terms of that. I mean, that's a huge thing. And so make sure if you're at a restaurant or you're getting money out of the ATM, if they offer it to you to say, hey, you know what? We can convert it for you already. Never do that. Always decline the conversion. You want to get, just take the money out of the local currency, pay in the local currency, because that's going to save you a lot of money in the long run. So I hope that helps. If you want to learn some more tips, on traveling, check us out on our website at waltersworld.com. We're also on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Pinterest. We really hope that we can help other travelers like you not get your uh, get a bad exchange rate and other problems when you travel. Bye from Budapest.